this tournament is more than just a charitable event and giving back, of which we change millions of people's lives, but it's also, it's a tournament as an ambassadorial role for our country. Supported by great partners and sponsors, Black Knight International concluded a phenomenal year of golf and giving with the Gary Player Invitational presented by Coca-Cola in the great man's homeland at Sun City. Given you know, Gary's uh, leadership and inspiration and the fact that he does so much for charitable causes, we're obviously very privileged and very honoured to support him in his endeavours to look after underprivileged uh, communities and the beneficiaries of, of, of such. The Lost City Golf Course played host to some of the most famous faces from the world of sport, business and entertainment who gathered to help raise money for the underprivileged around the world. Africa's crown jewel, the Palace Hotel at Sun City, was host as the three-day celebration of golf and giving began. It's great to be here, a beautiful place here at uh, Sun City and just the hospitality and, you know, the, the event is really first class. A lot of, you know, obviously great golf, but also fun evenings with good people and uh, great food. Let's face it, uh, we, we, for us it's fun being out here in a great event, I mean, great venue, but it makes a big difference to those who are less fortunate who, and who don't have the opportunity to come out and do some of the things we do. Gary Player's enthusiasm and determination are unparalleled. His vision and charitable ambition, limitless. And the Player Foundation is the very embodiment of those virtues. It's not what you have, it's what you do with it that makes all the difference. After growing up in a poor family, Gary Player knew that one day he would centre his career around giving back to those who need it most. The Player Foundation was established by Mark Player with the aim of educating a handful of children near their family home outside Johannesburg. Gifted with an illustrious professional career filled with worldly travel, Gary Player soon realised that the need for quality education and upliftment extended far beyond his home country. Success bred success, and that has grown beyond measure. The Player Foundation continues to address social needs and now supports partner schools across South Africa, special needs children in Abu Dhabi, orphans in China, skills development in the USA, and homeless youngsters in London, as well as many other noteworthy causes around the globe. The Player Foundation has raised an astonishing $64 million to date for an ever-expanding number of organisations around the world. Enriching, encouraging and enlightening children is the key to securing a positive future, and that is the Foundation's motivation. And so it continues, with more funds raised at each Invitational Series event, supported by donors and sponsors worldwide. Player's quest to raise $100 million is only attainable through his continued work via the Player Foundation. The generosity of donors and the kindness of those who support and attend the Gary Player Invitational Series. What they've done with the schools and all the different charities that they support over the years really is remarkable. And, uh, you know, I, I owe a lot in my life and career to him and you know so if, if ever there's anything that I can do to help and support I'll always be there for him. After Friday's Pro-Am an auction took place where the Player Foundation's two chosen beneficiaries were Wildlands and Wings and Wishes. Brian McFadden performed on stage and some high-end prizes were won by donors from the business world. I've been a, a part of these events now for going on oh, more than 10 years, 12 years. Uh, played many tournaments around the world with Gary uh, in his uh, charity events and and it's a great cause that he he pushes for and uh, I think there's a great bunch of people that come out and support it and uh, I'm really happy that it's uh, continuing on uh, as well as it has over all these years. He's dedicated his time, he's traveling all around the world for the cause and uh, I'm a big supporter and I help Gary as much as I can on a yearly basis. You know it's the people first of all, the people involved are incredible. Gary himself, you know, all his team, and all the people that come every year as well. You know, I've met a lot of friends from being at this event, and uh, it's just like a, a reunion every year, and I enjoy it so much. 
We had a wonderful evening and it was great to see the amount of money that people were pledging for, for different prizes and um, it's all going towards charity which is just amazing. You always look forward to getting that invite, you know, I've been invited a couple of times before and as soon as this one turned up, you know, I pencil the dates out and, and come up. The man himself was the last to tee off on the first day of the Gary Player Invitational Weekend as the competition began under African sunshine. Major winners Ian Woosnam, Trevor Immelman and Annika Sorenstam joined other sporting legends like Brian Lara and Kenny Dalglish. I think everybody enjoys being me, Gary. He's a, been a fantastic golfer, but more importantly, he's a fantastic human being. We have nicknamed ourselves the fun team, um, <laughs> just because we're just having a blast out there. It's just really relaxed. I've been very lucky, I think, to have the team that I've had. You know, in each of these Gary Play Invitationals that I've played, I've always made friends for life, and that's the most important part of it for me, more so than the golf. I am always astounded with what golf can achieve and the barriers that golf can move through and the people that we can help through sport. Sport is such an incredible thing, and golf in particular is phenomenal. Gary does four or five of these around the world and uh, it's, it's magnificent to, to come back in his own country to do this and, and it's just nice for us to be able to come down as sportsmen and, and entertainers to come and give something back. The fun continued after sunset with an African themed party midway through the weekend. Guests had their techies specially hand painted and danced to the music of South Africa's Mikasa. I learned what was, what was the dance called? The bus stop. I learned the bus stop. I listened to some South African bands. Um, I had a great time. And honestly, I just, there aren't enough descriptive words for me to say what an incredible week and weekend that I've had. In the sporting contest, Ian Woosnam's team finished top of the tree to end another great year of golf and giving.